Now, the Labrador Retriever is one of the most fun and enjoyable dog breeds on the planet to train. However, there are some mistakes that people make when it comes to training these glorious animals. So that's exactly what we're gonna look at today to help you make sure you don't make those same mistakes yourself. So the first common mistake that so many people make with their Labrador is not crate training them. I say this time and time again on all of my videos across my multiple channels, but crate training is one of the most important things that you can do for your dog to allow your dog to have huge amounts of success, to control your dog's environment so that you remove the chance of a lot of different failure. If your dog's in its crate, it can't be destroying your home. If your dog's in its crate, it can't be barking at people as it goes by the window. If your dog's at its crate, it can't be jumping up guests as they come into your home. Controlling their environment, managing their environment, giving them a safe place that they're happy to be in, will set you and your Labrador up for huge amounts of success and happiness for both them and you. Because when done well, dogs absolutely love being in their crates done wrong and you might have issues but that's down to you and making sure that you get the process right in the first place. The next mistake I see so many Labrador owners make is not starting from day one thinking oh I've got time my dog's so cute so I'm gonna love on it I'm gonna give it no rules no boundaries no expectations and we'll deal with that in the future. That is one of the single biggest mistakes you can make in all dog ownership. It's so important that you be consistent and you must be consistent from day one with your rules, boundaries and expectations that you have from your Labrador. Now is your eight week old Labrador going to be able to perform and have the obedience of a two, three, four year old Labrador? No. So you have to have realistic expectations but it doesn't change the fact that they need expectations, they need rules, they need boundaries and they need them implementing from day one because it's not fair that you let your eight week old puppy clamber up you jump up you pick it up whenever it wants attention just because it's cute at eight weeks old but when it becomes this size of dog you get upset and angry when it jumps up you because it's now starting to hurt that's not your Labrador's fault that's your fault for not instilling consistent rules boundaries and expectations but do so from day one and you'll have ludicrous amounts of success and have the kind of dog that you could only dream of and the last mistake that I see so many people make is not instilling barriers to entry with their Labradors. And what I mean by that is that understanding anything that your Labrador finds highly desirable, anything that they love, we want them to have those things because we care about our dogs, we care about our Labradors and we want them to have a fun life. But giving them free access to those things is such a wasted opportunity. However, if we decide and learn what it is that they love, whether that's their food, access to praise, access to comfortable spots in the house, access to chasing a tennis ball, which for these two is the single biggest joy in all of their life. They don't just get access to this whenever they want. To gain access to this, all I ask is that you sit down with good manners, quietly and patiently, and you look up to me for guidance and direction. If you do those things, like right now, you're gonna get access to your favorite thing in life, which for them dogs, for these Labradors, is exactly that. But if we put that in place here, if we instill that in that dog's life, it has huge knock-on effects because now our Labradors have beautiful manners. They're quiet, they're well-rounded. When they know they want something, they don't become obnoxious, jumping up you, barking at you. They sit quietly and patiently with good manners and wait nicely. It teaches them incredible impulse control. So even if there is something over in the distance that they really, really want, but we've asked them not to, they have good impulse control. They can control those things and remain beautifully and impeccably behaved. So work out what it is that your dogs absolutely love more than anything. And if they want access to that thing, they must display this behavior, this behavior, waiting calmly and quietly, even though right now he is more excited than he is in all of the rest of the areas of his life. He is laser focused more than all of the other areas of his life. He's desperate for that ball more than anything he could ever want in his life, but still he's sitting nicely, quietly and patiently waiting for me to allow him to have access to those favorite things. And I'm gonna let him have it. 
but the knock-on effects are huge. So instill that barrier to entry with your Labrador and you will have ludicrous amounts of success. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more about one of my favorite breeds in the world, the Labrador Retriever, make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's exactly what it's designed to do and I can't wait to see you on the next episode.